Hi, I'm Lori Allred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I surf around pin boards and look for inspiring crafty ideas to share with you. Each week I pick some of my favorite pins and bring them to life. But first, let's talk a little bit about another favorite thing about Pinterest that I love, food. Now I'm going to give you a tip. Don't ever go to Pinterest when you're hungry because you're, you're gonna spend your entire evening like hours looking through food ideas because the pictures are beautiful and yummy. This one I'm gonna show you is a slow cooker mac and cheese. It's now one of my family's favorites. I've made it twice and my daughter is begging me to make it again. It's really easy and yummy and Pinterest is great for that to help you document and tag all of your favorite recipes. But today we're gonna talk about how to create your own fun scarves and necklaces out of recycled old t-shirts like I'm wearing here today. The idea actually came from a cute gal, let's see, from Et Studio that I found on Pinterest and clicked over and she showed me how simple it was to do and Let's just get to it. So I have this t-shirt that I actually picked up at a craft store. It was a second. There's a hole in it somewhere. They were selling it for a couple dollars. I thought that was a great deal. You're gonna wanna go ahead and first trim off that bottom border of your t-shirt. You don't need that. And I'm cheating. I folded my shirt in half. Now the larger the shirt, the larger the necklace strips are going to be. So you're gonna wanna cut these in about an inch thickness. And I've tried them at different thicknesses. Experiment and decide which you like best. I think the inch works great. Don't worry about it being perfect. Go ahead and just keep cutting those. And then I'm gonna show you how fun it is to make these fun spaghetti looking strings. Now the thing I love about some of these craft shirts, men's shirts tend to do this, they don't have a seam down the side. So you're not having to deal with those seams. It's just one continuous circle. So it makes it really easy to do. And you can still hide those, there's some tricks to that. So here I have this tube, and you're just going to pull it, and you'll notice that just kind of curls in on itself and makes that fun tube looking. No sewing required, I love projects that don't have you sewing. So I'm gonna do that with this one too. I cut that one a little squeewampus. Oh, that still have a little, a little bit of the trim. But that's how we created this fun one that I'm wearing here. Let me show you some cute ideas here. Here's one from an old gray shirt from my husband's. Isn't that gray beautiful? And then I just tied a little uh, fun flower to it. You can change out the flower to match your outfit. And this one is another one that I found some other pins on Pinterest where I've just taken a section of the shirt and actually braided it. This one looks really cute on my daughter since it's so long, she just doubles that up and makes sort of a necklace as she's wearing it. I think that turns out really cute. There's some other fun pins. Let's look at those on Pinterest. This first one is actually a cute yellow ruffled scarf. I love it when I went to, it's from Bethany from Vermilion Rules blog. And I loved it because she actually took an old t-shirt. It was a Napoleon Dynamite one that said, save the ligers or something like that. And she writes on her blog that it's one less liger t-shirt out there now. And look how cute that ruffle made t-shirt turned out. And all she did was stitch down that, pull it so it ruffled, stitched it again and she was done. Then this other cute one is from Desiree over at Suddenly Found. And you'll notice that she did the same thing where she braids the t-shirt and creates that kind of choker look on there. And then here's a cute variation. This one I found on Pinterest. It didn't link back to a blog, but it gave me a great idea. I took the same concept, made my own tubes, and just tied them off at the end and then took some chain that I had, got some big jump rings at the end, and created a cute necklace out of that. And just for fun, I thought I'd try and see what other fun flowers I could make and embellishments and added that to the side of it. And this was from a cute t-shirt that my daughter had put out for Salvation Army similar to this one where it had the variegated colors. So I could have that multiple color look when I was creating that. So I thought that was a really fun idea. So go ahead and give it a try with some of your old t-shirts and be sure to join us next week on Inspired by Pinterest. We're gonna show you some fun ways to organize your jewelry and your necklaces. Thanks for joining us with Inspired by Pinterest.